This is a new question for Chem 1211. This is a empirical and molecular formula question. If an organic compound is 92.3% carbon and 7.7% .7 hydrogen, with a molecular mass of 104 AMU. What is the empirical formula and the molecular formula of the unknown compound. So looking at the information we have, we have 92.3% carbon and 7.7% hydrogen. Taking a look at those, adding those up, those give us exactly 100%. So are we worried about any missing elements in this compound? No, because we know it adds to 100%. We can assume that we have 100 grams of this sample, which means that those percents change to grams. So in our sample, which we're assuming is 100 grams, 92.3 grams are carbon and 7.7 .7 grams are hydrogen. To find the lowest ratio between these elements, we need to compare their numbers of atoms or their numbers of moles. And so we need to convert these grams of carbon to moles of carbon and these grams of hydrogen to moles of hydrogen. Doing so gives us 7.68526 moles of carbon and 7.62376 moles of hydrogen. Those are pretty close to being equal to each other, but the way we make sure that we know what the ratio is between these elements is that we now divide by the smallest of the two. The smallest of the two is the moles of hydrogen, 7.62376. And when we divide the hydrogen, of course, we get 1. And we get 1.0081 for the carbon. That is within 0 0.1 of an integer. And so we are allowed to round that to 1. So we can ignore the decimals behind the one there. This means that our empirical formula is simply CH. Did we use the 104 AMU at all? We have not used that yet. This is where we use that. This empirical formula has a mass of 13 0.02 and we want to compare that to the molecular mass of 104. 104 divided by 13.02 gives 7.9877 and then a couple ones. Again in terms of looking at numbers and looking at whether we can round or not we're going to go with the fact that that's less than a tenth away from an integer. Of course, that integer is 8. So what does this mean the, the molecular formula is? This means the molecular formula is C8H8. And indeed, 
you could look up styrene, which is the unknown that was analyzed, and see that styrene has that as its molecular structure. So there's one H off there, there's two H's off that carbon, and each of these other carbons in this ring has one hydrogen coming off of it. This carbon here already has one, two, three, four from the double bond, bond to it, and so there's no hydrogens off of that carbon.